Hi, today I'd like to talk about the magazine of the silver trade. Okay, so in the early 1960s, there came to be a magazine that later was named Silver Magazine. So, and this is a copy of it. And so it's been done every other month since the 1960s through today. And so, so you get six copies a year. And every one has interesting articles in it. And they, when it started off, it was, you know, kind of crazy basic. So I remember one that I read, it said, letter to the editor. And they had the, the anchor lion G mark for Gorham. And they said, what is this mark? And the editor said, I don't know, but if any of our readers can tell us, we'd be pleased to know. Well, I mean, that's like the most basic thing on earth in silver, and they didn't know the answer to that. So anyway, when I started working in the silver business in the early 1980s, I got Silver Magazine. And I was very interested in it. And so I decided that they had a little square in the back that said, if you want back issues, please contact the company. So I called them up and I said, I'd like to get some back issues. And they said, well, which ones would you like? I said, all of them. And so I got a stack that was about this high. And every night until about three in the morning for the, about the next two months, I would read 30 years of Silver Magazine. And I absorbed the articles. I if I thought an article really was interesting, I made copy of it and put in a file. And I would say that at the end of a few months of reading every night, I knew as much about American silver as a lot of people who had been there a lot longer than me. And it was a very good learning tool for me. And it's still a learning tool. You know, the, the people who do the articles, one of them is Bill Hood, who did our Tiffany book, and he and I are working together on a new book on modern silver. You know, the articles are very good. And for a little while there, they were so advanced that the magazine felt that the normal person was not that interested in these advanced subjects. But I, you know, really enjoyed them. And so Silver Magazine has had the same kinds of problems as every magazine. Magazines are just sort of a thing of the past. You know, all the information is online and, you know, newspapers, books, magazines, of course, they're all hurting. And so the, you know, the circulation of the, of the magazine is down a lot. It's very tenuous whether the magazine will survive but, you know, I hope that in some form, whether it's just digital or, you know, maybe they can find, you know, a niche and, and survive. I hope it survives. But, you know, if I was really interested in silver, if I was a real, if I really want to know a lot about silver, I would suggest buying the copies. So when I bought them, that giant stack was about $700 which was probably, you know, like, I don't know, 50 cents a copy or something like that. So not, not a bad buy. I think those magazines will probably be worth something in the future too. So I, I think you could get an education and you could enjoy them. And as I say, the, the uh, topics are great. And you can just see the covers, how interesting it is. Here's one that features the pattern mythologique. Here's one that features various e perms here's one that features various punch ladles so every issue has a different feature in it it also discusses upcoming antique shows that have silver in it it also discusses future auctions and auction results about silver and then there's ads by some of the more important larger silver sellers and there's also individuals who say there's certain things they're looking for and some of them have ad ads in in the 
magazine for decades and you know and they still get things and we do follow up with all the people who say they they are looking for a particular thing and some of them have become great friends and good customers so let's hope the the magazine continues but anyway it's it's a very interesting magazine articles are terrific right now and i would certainly suggest it thanks